My message actually today or my um, speech will be about the following, uh, to answer the following question. How could media uh, in the north and in the south, uh, in the east and the west, uh, bridge the divide or the gap between two worlds, two cultures, two civilizations, and maybe to a large extent, two centers of interests? We, the media, could be much better equipped to bridge the divide and to make our audience much more knowledgeable about the reality. The way that we are reporting the news has changed during the last few years because of the technology, because of the communication. The immediacy has become very important in our reporting. Breaking news, live reporting, and the way that we are you know, putting our reporters on the screens 24 hours and trying to feed this monster called the screen you know, is increasing the pressure on our human resources and our reporters and our journalistic skills in order to satisfy and to meet the need of the screen. And then also, with this kind of rush that everyone is trying to compete with others in a highly competitive market, we are, in a way or another, sacrificing some of the principles that one day were inherent in our profession and were sacred as well. Our reporting sometimes is a matter of life and death. Our reporters sometimes pay their life for the sake of the truth. And our audience, if we misguide them, especially in the Middle East, they might face death. If we give them wrong information about what's happening, they may literally be killed that day. Some of, our, some of the reports and some of the thoughts and some of the rumors and some of the things that have been broadcast have created huge conflicts and, you know, and led us into, into very uh, you know, violent uh, reality. So therefore, yes, we cannot afford to be show business. We are, in fact, responsible journalists. And we should all of us spring from that fact. I mean, should always look at this. And look at the journalist within us, not the executive within us, not the commercial part of us. We should look always at the journalist within us. This is what differentiates this profession from, from everything else. We are journalists. We should always hold the values of journalism high before any other consideration, be it political or commercial. The center in the Middle East is not the center in Europe. I do understand that you have democratically elected parties and governments, and therefore you have the freedom to speak and to hold accountable the people who might not say the truth. In the region, the centers of politics in the region, most of them have never been elected. These people are guarding their own personal interest. And sometimes, and most of the time, they are not representative of the people that they are governing or ruling. The margin is much more important. The margin where the future is, not the center. These social movements, these even military groups sometimes, these kind of you know, uh, forces that are under formation at this moment in time, they might very soon be at the center. So the margin should not be ignored in the Middle East. When we cover, it is not the political story that we should concentrate on. It is not the king and the prince and president of the country and his government that we should approach in order to get information and interviews. The margin is very important. Watch the margin. There the future will emerge from the Middle East. While you are covering the center, don't forget the margin. These are, this, this is your responsibility as a journalist to speak about reality as it is, not as we wish, wish it to be. That is important. What the news is the news, regardless if it is patriotic to report it or not.